Good Tuesday morning. Proverbs 18, 16 says, giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. In many Asian cultures, when a person appears before a dignitary, there is the practice of bringing a gift. Now, in the USA, this would probably be construed as a bribe, but, but that's not how those in the Asian culture view it. They view it as wise and right to bring a gift with you when you come to see someone, and the greater the person, the more important the gift. As the pastor of a church, I have on occasion been the recipient of such gifts. And while it really is a special experience, it's also quite humbling. Their gifts are never casual or thoughtless. They always take time to consider what I might enjoy, and they delight in giving it. This proverb is trying to get us to see the value of being generous with others. We will never be the poorer for genuinely giving gifts of love and respect to others. We will also benefit from seeing the value of letting those in important positions know that we both respect them and value what they contribute to our lives. An example of this was how the Queen of Sheba came before Solomon. She sought an audience with the king, and when she came, she brought a huge gift with spices and special woods and other valuable items. She came with these things to receive Solomon's wisdom and to see the great king of which she'd heard. What is interesting is the practice of the noble men and women who receive such people who would come with these thoughtful gifts. Solomon first answers all her questions, leaving her breathless as she heard him and saw him in court. But we read at the close of the passage that she left receiving more than she had given. The kings and the rulers of the East were given to great liberality in response to the gifts of others. The Queen of Sheba left with more than she gave. This serves as a type for us of how we come before God. We come and we give him praise and we give him worship, but we always leave wealthier than when we came to him. We receive the graciousness and the gifts of King Jesus and the abundance of all his blessings. Now what I'm going to close with today comes straight from the scripture. If you interpret it as an opportunity to manipulate, then you're not as close to Jesus as you think you are. But if you will hear it in the voice of the Holy Spirit, it'll open doors for you. Your gift to the President of the United States of America or the Governor of Texas would most likely be lost in obscurity. But your gift to the local mayor, a school administrator or teacher, a law enforcement officer, a restaurant manager, a clerk, a waiter, or even your pastor, it'll give you access to them like you never imagined. Lord, you said it is more blessed to give than receive. And while I know this is true, the idea of giving to people of influence can be seen as manipulative, so I often choose not to give at all. Forgive my justified selfishness. Help me, Lord, to thoughtfully give to someone today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.